transparency, something the Carborough Police and the Board of Aldermen say they're trying to create with body-worn cameras. Our Alyssa Armstrong is live at the Carborough Police Department with the details. Alyssa? Critics say there's nothing transparent about the policy and the public needs to know what the police are up to. Carborough Police and the Board of Aldermen support the concept of using the body cameras. If we have uh, concerns about officers or citizens' behavior, we have created a, a record of that. But media law professor Kathy Packer sees an issue with their policy. It's not transparent if we don't get to see the videos. ATAC says the department can't release the video if it's evidence in a criminal investigation or involves a personnel issue, saying it's the same policy for dashboard cameras as well. Critics wonder what doesn't fall into one of those categories. If the purpose of the videos is to help us see how police work, we need to be able to see the videos. The North Carolina Open Government Coalition says choosing not to release personnel footage is unique to North Carolina. The coalition says unless the video is from a criminal investigation, it should be released, especially if it shows police misconduct. ATAC and members of the Board of Aldermen disagree. Uh, my own position is that they should really be very tightly guarded uh, and should only be accessed in, under a court order. ATAC's biggest concern? The videos show an officer's entire life's work for the world to see. He says releasing videos makes the officer feel like he or she isn't trusted. Critics say if that's a concern, why use the cameras at all? Legislator proposed House Bill 537. This would require police departments across North Carolina to use the cameras. And many departments already have them, such as Greensboro and Davidson. Even UNC plans to equip its officers with the cameras by the end of the school year. Susanna? Melissa Armstrong live in Carborough. Thank you.